Hey guys, I'm Aaron Edgar, and this is part two of my video series explaining time signatures. This time, we're going to be talking about eighth note-based meters. Now, first up, I'd like to talk about 6-8. Now, in the previous video, we talked about 3-4. I understand that these have an identical length. I'm sure you guys realize that as well. So, here's the difference. It's in how we group the notes and how we feel them. So for 6-8, generally speaking, we're going to be using groups of three for our feel. So one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Whereas in 3-4, we were using three groups of quarter notes. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, one, two, three. The difference is in how we feel them, how we group them. That's why they're different. That's why we use the two things versus just having one way of doing it. Now, same with the quarter note meters, we don't need to play these quite so stock. Let's listen to a couple different examples of how we can phrase within 6-8. Cool. So there's a couple different ways that you can phrase that, and you can pretty much phrase it however you want as if you're comfortable enough within the time signature to do it. So those are just some of the ways that I picked. So like we did in the quarter note series, let's change the top number. Let's talk about 5-8. So same kind of thing. I'm going to show you some examples, and we're going to count it the same way we did with 6, just one less. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 for our bar. Check it out. Now that you guys have a good idea of how that kind of thing can sound, let's add a note instead of taking one away. Let's hear a couple different examples of 7-8. There you have it. There's nothing to it. So. Stay tuned for videos 3 and 4 on 16th and composite meters. This is where it starts to get heavy. <laughs> 